Hey guys, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. It's Ashanda Henry here, aka Sister Sense, with a little bit of fire and focus on this beautiful day called Small Business Saturday, where we support our fellow small business owners in the U.S. of A. and entrepreneurs like myself. Today, I want to talk to you about some things that you can do to tackle two things that a lot of entrepreneurs often have struggles around, and that's number one, what should I be doing right now? And number two, what should I be doing next? So my goal today is for us to talk about your progress and your profit with respect to your POAs, which is for me, your plan of action. So hopefully you are excited about this conversation for today. Feel free to drop into the comment box. Hey, hey, hey. I see you, E. Michelle. Good morning. Good morning to you. Of course, this, this is something that you can definitely do if you're on the replay side. Remember to drop into the comment box. Hashtag replays rock. Now, in honor of Small Business Saturday, before I do anything today, I would definitely like to shout you out. Uh, feel free to drop into the comment box and let us know who you are and what your business is. Put a link in there. Share, 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 share. Now, for me, my primary business is that of a web designer and a graphics designer. And my website is www.sistersense.com, where I help you make sense of making money online. Hopefully, I'm right on time for those of you who've got a lot of questions that you are going to dig into today when we talk about if you as an entrepreneur in your online business, what you should be doing now versus what you should be doing next. First thing I want you to do again, remember, drop into that comment box, hashtag replays rock and share your web business link. Considering that smart, well, Small Business Saturday is just on the cuff of uh, we just coming off of Cyber Black Friday, Cyber Monday's next. Uh, if you want to specifically share your web business, the main website or a promotion that you're doing right now, feel free to do that. Uh, as part of Black Friday, I've got what I like to call my big, beautiful Black Friday Boost Your Business bundles, literally for $30 happening right now, ending tomorrow at sistersense.com forward slash BF. B, which stands for Black Friday Bundles. That's what I'm doing for you. Make sure that you are sharing and in, in the comment box what you're doing for the ladies and gents in your circle. And of course, also feel free to share this web class out before we even get started because of course sharing is caring. So, all right, now let's get into the meat and potatoes of today's conversation. Uh, and essentially what I want to do is to share with you my plans, my progress, my profit to do's so that in that space, you can get a sense of some of the questions that you should be asking yourself. Okay. And I've been doing this for almost 20 years. So if anybody knows how to repurpose, how to stay relevant, how to do what you need to do to remember to remind yourself to keep moving forward in your business, that's me. Because I've been around since the days of MySpace <laughs> and Tom. Y'all remember MySpace and Tom? Even going back even further, you know, back in the day when we used to do forums and Yahoo Facebook groups. And now we're doing Facebook and, and, and live sessions, right? So I've definitely seen it all in the last 17 plus years, almost two decades. Uh, and I want to be able to share some of my best recommendations with you. So what I want you to do is to think about First three C's, and I actually shared these three C's a couple of weeks ago when I said, listen, this is the final quarter of the year, and I want you to be able to get really clear about three C's. Number one, what do you need to create before this year is over? What do you need to complete before the year is over? And who do you need to collaborate with so that you are not an island sitting there, you know, trying to talk yourself up and nobody else is talking about you? So being in a space where you think about creation, completion, and collaboration, that is number one. Number two, I want you to be in a space when it comes to creation, I want you to start beefing up your content. And I'm serious about that. And I know for some of you guys, putting out one thing or doing one thing sometimes feels like you're birthing a baby. But baby, if you want to get seen in this day and age, not back in the day with Tom and MySpace, but in this day and age, you've really got to beef up your content because there are a lot of people out there doing what you want to do or something similar to you, and they are really pushing hard. So you've got to push hard too. Okay, so I want to be in a space where I talk about today how you can beef up your content, how can you can work on creation, com completion, and collaboration. And of course, in that space, if you have questions for me, 
feel free to drop them into the comment box. Remember the first thing I said to you guys, hashtag replays rocks. Drop that in there if you're watching me on the replay side. But if you're watching live, make sure that the first thing that you do is drop into the comment box who you are and what your website is. You always want to be ready for opportunities when people say, hey, it's time for you to, you know, bring that fire, bring that, you know, exposure, you know, put put your pitch out there. You want to be ready for that. And as a matter of fact, I'm not sure. I see a couple of people live right now. I'm not sure who is live. But if you're looking cute right now and you want to get all the way live with me and you want to, you know, do a dual live and say, hey, y'all, this is who I am. This is what my business is. Feel free to say, LaShonda, I want to come on the live. <laughs> and I will... Uh, I'll add you into my live for a minute or two so I can check in with you, right? You got to be ready for those opportunities when they come up. So, all right. Uh, while you guys are rocking and rolling there, let me start off this conversation by talking about your website, okay? The first thing I want you to do is think about, as far as your website is concerned, where are you? I actually was talking to a young lady who yesterday, yesterday morning, just after uh, you know Thanksgiving Thursday, Black Friday, we was talking business in the morning. She said, LaShonda, I need you to do the website. I need it to be branded. I need something because I'm looking for crowdfunding. I'm looking for, you know, people to come in and invest in this business. And so building up that platform so she can get ready to start getting uh, funding in December is what we're working on. What are you focused on right now? Do you have a website? Are you established right now? What are you looking for as far as your online presence is concerned? That's a big one. As a matter of fact, I think it was maybe Wednesday when I launched my cyber sale page. Um, and on that cyber sale page, I have an opportunity for ladies to get a starter website from me for $450. And of course, the minute I put it out there, somebody jumped on it and I said, okay, well, that was the one. <laughs> That was the one 450 site that I was going to do. And then something said to me, okay, it's Small Business Saturday. Do one more, one more, one more. So I'm going to keep that up there to give one more lady an opportunity to get that 450 website. But if you're in a space where you're not online yet, you've got the vision, you've got a lot of ideas in your notebook, but you have no online presence, that's the first thing. So thinking about for yourself if you're in a space where you need to build a website or you need to rebrand your website, okay? Um, I'm working with a client right now and she said, you know what, I want to go into a different direction with my business brand. She's a VA. She said, there's a little bit of a brand confusion when it comes to my current vision. So I'm rebranding. I've got a new logo, Lashonda, some new colors, some new content, and we're making that work. So the first thing that I want to talk to you about today as far as what you should be doing now is taking a good look at your current online website. Number one, do you have a website? If you don't, check in with me. I can help and support you with that. Even for as little as $450 to help you build a starter site, that information is over at sissasense.com forward slash BFB, which stands for Big Beautiful Bundles. One of them is that 450 package. One more space left for that one. But I'm also doing, uh, which is one of my favorite good goods, is I have small business web design packages. And I have three really, really popular ones. The small business starter one starts at $9.95. And then there is the next level up that starts at $14.95. And what I'm doing is I'm doing that next level up for one person for $9.95. So basically, you're going to get the small business starter plus package, which is normally $14.95 for $9.95. And how do you get it? You just email me, sissasense at gmail.com. And you say, listen, I went to your website. I clicked on services. I saw the three packages. I want that $14.95 package. Are you still giving it away for $9.95? Can I get the $500 off? And I will let you know because I'm only doing that for one person this holiday season. So one more client at the $450 rate, one client who's going to get $14.95, that big package for $9.95, and then that's it for next year because I'm not doing any more websites. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to shut down the page because the amount of websites that I've got right now, it's crazy. So I said I was only going to do one 450. I already had that uh, new client this past Wednesday. I'm going to do one more for you guys, Small Business Saturday, and then one $14.95 package at the $9.95 level. Do you have, how do you know if it's gone? Just email me, sissasense at gmail.com. Email me, say, Lashonda, I want that web package. Do you still have it? Bless God, and I'll let you know. Hey, Anissa, hello, everyone. I'm a Reiki master practitioner and energy wellness coach. I love it. Ladies, Small Business Saturday, as we're going through today, make sure that you're dropping into that comment box what your business is, right? And say, 
live, hashtag live. If you want to go live with me and get in front of the camera with me and check in, talk about your business and say hello to the ladies. Listen, opportunities expire. This is yours. Put in the comment box, hashtag live, and I'll do that joint dual live stream so that I can check in with you and we can talk live together for a minute or two. All right. So the first thing I want us to talk about is your website. Now, as a matter of fact, in addition to answering the question whether you need a new website or you need to do some rebranding on your website, do you need to beef up your content on your website? I'm right now really, really focused on content marketing. This year has been, for me, an amazing year as far as developing a lot of content, but not only developing a lot of content, helping ladies in my circle do the same thing. We had the content creation challenge at the beginning of the year. Last month, we did a blogging challenge. This month, we're doing a video marketing challenge. I want you to be honest with yourself. How much are you putting time into beefing up your content. Hey, Bernadette. Hello, my dear. A fellow Henry in the mix. I love it. LaShonda Henry, Bernadette Henry. How awesome is that, right? Maybe we're related. <laughs> um, I want us to talk about beefing up your content today. So let's talk about a couple of areas where that's so important on your website. Last month, um, I did a blogging challenge with the ladies and I said, listen, here are a couple of types of content that you should be focused on. Number one, where are you right now? Where are you in your business? What are you working on? Where are you going to go? What's happening right now? Your updated events that needs to be in your blog, okay? Number two, do you have people in your circle? Henry by marriage, okay, <laughs> I got you. Um, do you have people in your circle who have content that is similar to your content. You need some collaborations. If you can get some guest articles on your website to beef up your blog, make sure that happens. Number three, I'm giving you three types of blog post ideas, by the way, okay? So make sure you guys are writing, writing, writing. Um, hey, Akima, Marshall, good morning. Feel free to share this out as well, guys, because again, beefing up your content is something that you've got to do. If you don't have enough good content on your website, Ain't nobody going to follow you, okay? Let's just be clear. <laughs> okay, so we're working on, first thing, talking about some things that you might want to do on your website. Beefing up the material is one of them. So, um, so far, I said to you, number one, your current activities, whether you're going to events. If you look at my website, one in my blog section, one of the last articles I posted was my Sister Sense blog tour, letting people know when I was in Atlanta, when I'm doing events here in North Carolina, I'm actually going to be going to Virginia uh, in a couple of weeks for a speaking engagement there, letting people know where you are, what you're doing, what's updated, share, share, share. I call those marketing moments, number one. Number two, get some collaborations and get guest articles so that you can post those on your website as well. Uh, I had, good morning to you, good morning, my dears, I had my Back to Business virtual conference last month. Um, and as part of the virtual conference to offer all of my speakers, I said, listen, if you've got an article or two that I can repost on Sister Sense, send them to me, right? So I've been posting those as well, in addition to original articles that I'm creating. So you want to think about, for me, when it comes to the meat and potatoes of what you should be doing right now versus what you can do next in your business, what do you need to create? What do you need to complete and who do you need to collaborate with? Those are the three big questions you need to be answering. LaVon says, I am LaVon Weaver, the creative energy of Live Vibrantly. Yes, I had the beautiful pleasure of meeting my client LaVon for the first time when she came out this summer to the Girl Boss Weekend Workshop that I hosted here in North Carolina. And of course, LaVon is an amazing sister girl who in support and appreciation she shared my web design services. I built her website, livevibrantly.com, with one of her friends who said, LaShonda, LaVon said I need to talk to you, so you need to build my website. Bam, 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 right? So as a small business owner, I cannot stress the importance of collaborations and working with others because that positive energy always comes back to you. LaVon was actually one of the Power Circle speakers for this year's Joy Practice panel, the backtobusiness.me 
annual virtual conference. We had the eighth one this year. And I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of ladies come to me and they say, LaShonda, I've been in your circle for a minute and I can't wait to be a part of Back to Business and be a speaker. You know, when you work with people, you've got to find out how you can create a room to collaborate with them, right? So I gave you one example of your blog, you know, or or even their blog, you know, writing and cross-promoting. If you know one other business owner and you both have blogs and there's synergy between your audiences, you need to start cross-promoting together. Let one hand wash the other, as they say, right? Um, and being in a space where, you know, LaVon came out in my live event as one of my attendees, I built her website, she spoke at my event and then referred me to somebody. I said, LaVon, I want you to come on and talk about your affirmations. Listen, LaVon, are you cute? <laughs> are you cute right now? Can we do a dual video together? Um, if we can, if, if any of you guys want to do a dual video with me for like a minute or two, just to say, hey, tell folks what your business is, answer a question or two, hit, say, drop into the comment box, hashtag live. I don't know if anybody's going to say I'm going to go live with you. Y'all probably be like, girl, I'm in my bed right now. <laughs> Listen, put on some makeup, get cute, because I'm going to be on here for a good 30 minutes to an hour, okay? Get cute, hit hashtag live. You may not be cute right now, <laughs> but maybe you could jump on in 10 minutes and, you know, say what you need to say to be a part of this video, okay? Uh, for Small Business Saturday, not only do I want to share some of my favorite nuggets when it comes to beefing up your content and really mapping out your mastering your vision, and also want to support you and make sure that in this platform, this Sister Sense Circle, we can really dig in. So, hey, good morning, Shanita. Listen, y'all, if you're just jumping in, make sure that you drop into the comment box who you are, what your business is. You can put your business website URL, or if you've got a promotion happening right now, you can put the link to the promotion, your Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Small Business Saturday sales, drop them in there, okay? Uh <laughs> E. Michelle says, so not cute right now. I'm sure you are, boo. I didn't take nothing but a cute top and some earrings and some lip gloss for you to be rocking and popping. So make that happen, y'all, so you can jump on and hang with me. Just put hashtag live in so I know I'll look out for it and I'll be like, okay, yay. Uh, we'll go on and make this happen, okay? And of course, feel free to share out this video for today. And don't forget, your big, beautiful $30 bundles are waiting for you at sistersense.com forward slash BFB. Whether it be you getting into the Firestarter Circle Mastermind, whether it be you getting the Online Marketing and Sales Made Easy Bundle, I've got a ton of bundles there, and they're $30, which means I'm slashing hundreds of dollars off of my information products and resources. Even my magazine template, my signature Sister Sense magazine, the template that I created and the course that I created, you can get that for 30 bucks. So listen, go and get your big, beautiful bundles at sistersense.com forward slash BFB for Black Friday bundles because they're going away tomorrow. But for today, we're going to rock it out because it's, yay, Small Business Saturday. So... Let's get back to the beefing up your blog content conversation, right? In addition to your marketing moments and your guest posts, one of the things that I want you to consider right now, who are you trying to reach? Who are you trying to reach right now? I want you to write their keyword, right? Who's your target audience, your avatar person? You know, how can you best describe that person? Write that keyword, drop it into the comment box because I want you to create at least one blog post with their name inside of that post, okay? Now, honestly, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm talking about beefing it up. And if you really wanna beef it up, Boo, you need to create like 10 to 20 blog posts and you need to not, not drip them out. Oh girl, you know, I did 10 articles. I'm going to do one post a month. No, <laughs> I need you to write 10 to 20 articles for that particular person in mind. And I need you to post all of them bad boys up there. I need you to be very clear that you want to finish this year strong and, and, and start the next one even stronger, which reminds me my finish strong closeout kit that has holiday sales strategies, end of year, new year sales strategies, 
all of that. That kit is thirty dollars on the 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 um, Black Friday bundles page as well. Because I'm not playing. Playtime is over. I need to get as much information to you to get you motivated and inspired to do what you need to do to move forward. Thank you, Anissa, for sharing this. Of course, sharing is caring. Mwah. I appreciate you for that. So think about that and drop into the comment box. Who are you trying to reach right now? I work a lot with black women entrepreneurs. Black women entrepreneurs is all up and around my sisters and circles. So much so that I literally have the men in my circle going, Lasanda, you need to create sister sense for men. <laughs> Um, let me see. I think it was a week or two ago. I started a few of my holiday sales promotions. One of them was getting a one year pass into the mastermind. And I have one of the males in my circle. He checked in with me and said, Lashonda, I want to get the one year pass, but can I do it? Cause I'm a man. I was like, boo, you can do it. You can do it. I really need to work on that. <laughs> That's like, for me, a part of my agenda. One of the things I'm working on is um, doing some a little bit of rebranding. I said to you guys a couple of minutes ago, thinking about as far as your website platform is concerned, do you have to build some new websites? Do you have to do any rebranding? Do you have to be beef up your blog content? And for me, I've got to do a little bit of rebranding around creating some stuff for the males in my circle. You don't know. There might be people in your circle who might be telling you this is what they want. This is what they need. And you aren't really listening to that. So you're leaving money on the table. And sometimes people honestly are afraid to buy. Literally, sometimes I have males in my circle who they're afraid to buy because they're like, I don't know if you're just doing this for women, if I can be a part of that too. So if that is happening to me, think about what's happening to you, right? Think about if there are people in your circle who are saying to you, you know, it would be good if you could do this or, you know, do you have that? I need you to get, you know, into a space where you're really being attentive to what your customers and clients are telling you that they need, right? I shared with my Real Queens Leadership Group. Oh, I appreciate you, E. Michelle. Mwah. Thank you for the share and the love. Listen, there are a couple of things that I'm doing right now. Just being grateful and thankful for all of the amazing ladies in my circle. Number one, if you do not have my Cash Flow Goals free guide, you can get it at sisterscents.com forward slash CFG, which stands for Cash Flow Goals. So write that down somewhere. If you don't got it, go get it, right? Uh, and then number two, in my online shop, I am actually, you spend 10, I give you 10. So literally, you can get a $10 credit in my online store when you use the code dollar. I've got a couple of things in there for five dollars. Um, I just want to make sure that I am doing my part uh, to support my entrepreneurs and slashing, <laughs> you know, judo chopping, slashing prices so that this is an opportunity for you to grab all of the Sister Sense amazing resources that I've been creating at a reduced rate. Um, the dollar downloads, the five dollar downloads and the big, beautiful thirty dollar bundles. They're all there for you. Sissensense.com forward slash BFB. Okay, so use that code T H A N K U. Thank you, because uh, I'm thankful and grateful for having so many of you in my circle to get $10 off of $10 or more in the store. All right, so I want you to think about let's, let's do this activity. I want you to think about your audience right now, one type of person that you're trying to reach and start creating some content for them. So when I work on my rebranding for my black men entrepreneurs, I'm certainly going to be writing a lot of content for them in my blog. But with a lot of my focus being on black women entrepreneurs, I'm building up series for them. So one of the things that I want to talk to you about today that I've got here on my list here is number one, who are you trying to reach right now, okay? Number two, creating and beefing up as much content as you potentially can. Now, I'm about baby stepping it. So if you can only create one article, that's okay. But I'm gonna be honest with you. I would love to see you create 15 or 20 articles, spend a weekend, knock them out, 
write them out so you can really start to build up your presence around that one conversation. It's not, you know, a mistake that I created the Black Business Women Online Network. It's not a mistake that I created the Success Podcast for Women Entrepreneurs of Color. It's not a mistake that right now I'm working on a new book series on Amazon, a collaborative series specifically for Black women entrepreneurs. You've got to really dig into your target audience so that you're not just sitting there going, I hope and pray that somebody finds me. You're helping your customers find you. So number one, drop into the comment box who you're trying to reach right now. And then number two, think about how you are going to reach them. Starting with your blog, that's the beginning, but that's not the ending. That's just the base of the conversation. So let's transition because I want to talk about your website, but I also want to talk about your visibility. What are some things that you should be doing right now working on your visibility. One of the first things that I said to you guys is I need you to think about with respect to your visibility, do you have some sort of signature series that's going to help you keyword wise attract your people? right? So I was on a clarity call. I do these clarity calls. These are 30 minute, 60 minute, and even three hour VIP virtual sessions with clients who say, LaShonda, this is what I'm trying. I don't want you to simply sit there and write a couple of articles and then have them, art. oh, I'm going to do one article a week or two. I need you to write a ton of articles and publish all of them. Then drip later. Right now, if your blog is weak and your content is weak, you don't got playtime. You don't got time to say, oh, girl, you know, I got, you know, 10 articles. Let me drip it a little bit at a time. Mm -mm, no, you need to be a beast at this. Okay. <laughs> I remember when I jumped on live stream, I did maybe two to three live stream sessions every single day. Then I fell off because I said I had other things to do. But when I dig into one thing, I dig in deep. I did, I think this is maybe the fourth or fifth live stream that I'm doing this week. You want to do it? Boo, you got to do it big. You got to do it consistent. You got to be strong about it. So I need you to identify a series. Yandel says, I think I understand now. Okay, let me know. What, what, what clarity did you get? What big aha did you get, Yandel? Hopefully I pronounced your name correctly, my dear. I know folks be butchering LaShonda sometimes. <laughs> Guys, if you're just jumping on, feel free to share this out because number one, sharing is caring. Number two, it's Small Business Saturday and I want to talk to you. So drop into the comment box. Let me know who you are, what your business is, and post your link so we can see that as well. And if you want to go live, just drop into the comment box, hashtag live. Things are going fast and there are a lot of comments. So if you did it and I missed it, my apologies, do it again. Hashtag live. I will invite you into the live stream so you can talk to me. You can wave. You can say who, you're, who you are and what your business is. And I can ask you a couple of questions too to support you. That's what Small Business Saturday is all about. And if you say you ain't cute right now, boo, I'm going to be on here. not get scared. You got to do what you need to do to move forward. Latrice says, oh my goodness. She said something about starting something in five episodes. Uh, <laughs> my target is new and emerging women speakers. Okay. So your target, new and emerging women speakers, what are some things that they need? What are some questions that they have? What should they be doing, right? You need to have, if you know, you need to have the term new emerging speakers like all over your website, right? And if I type in new emerging speakers in Amazon, what comes up? What books come up? What articles come up? If I type in new and emerging women speakers on YouTube, what videos come up? If I type in new and emerging women speakers on uh, Google, what websites come up? Listen, I'm giving you some good good right now, whether it be Amazon books, 
YouTube or Google, look at them titles. Those are your titles now. That's your content now. That's you sitting down for a weekend or, you know, during your lunch break and knocking out some content because you need to beef up that material if you really want to work on your progress and your plans for this coming year. Let's get clear. One of the things that I love to do every year is my Fire Start Your Year virtual workshop. I do a live one here in North Carolina. So if you want to come to North Carolina, if you want to be here and work with me, email sissensense at gmail.com. Okay, I'm doing an invite only workshop this year. I'm going to do a little bit different. So if you want to be here with me, I always do my live event for Fire Start Your Year. I always do it as a three day MLK weekend. So you already know what weekend it's going to be in January. If you want to be here with me, email me. Let's make that happen. Number one, of course, number two, the virtual is always there for you. So if you want to sign up for the virtual workshop, I've got a lot of international clients check in with me and let me know. You can pre-register for that too. But what I'm doing this weekend is I'm slashing all the prices on my big, beautiful bundles like the Marketing Made Easy, the Savvy Seller Kit, and more, you can go to, somebody drop this into the comment box for me if you could, www.sissensense.com forward slash BFB, which stands for Black Friday Bundles. You can get into the Mastermind for $30. You can get the Savvy Seller Toolkit for $30. The Finish Strong Toolkit for $30. The Magazine Template so you can create your own custom brand and magazine for $30. Listen, it's not a game. <laughs> But these are going away because I'm shutting it down tomorrow. I'm like, I can't do $30 on all this good, good for a very long time. There's also an opportunity for one more lady to get my starter web package for $450, which is unheard of. A $450 website that I designed, it looks pretty nice. So I want you to be able to get that. Only one more person because I already gave one of those away on Wednesday. And the opportunity to get my $14.95 web design package one person can get that for $9.95. So literally, you're going to get $500 off. All you got to do is email me and say, Lashonda, I want that $14.95 webcap package, everything that's in there, and I want that $500 discount. Please, please, baby, baby, please. Just email me. I'll let you know because I'm only doing it for one person. All you got to do is email sissensense at gmail.com. So I love that. I think that a few people said that they're working on podcasts and having a podcast series. My podcast is at sissensense.com forward slash. Uh, no, iTunes.sissensense.com. That's the success podcast series. Anybody trying to do a podcast and haven't started yet? Anybody? If you're in a place where you're like, listen, I don't want to do video, LaShonda. I don't like getting in front of the camera. I want you to write this down. This is one of my favorite platforms. Anchor. Dot fm a n c h o r dot fm you can download the anchor app today you can sign up in a minute and you can create your own podcast today how amazing is that i want you to be in a space where you can start this process so somebody drop into the comment box anchor dot fm if you want to create a podcast go for it i've got my itunes uh, uh, podcast the success series and i have my anchor daily direction podcast it's so easy. Literally, you can sit in with your phone in your hand, hit record on Anchor, record your podcast. Then when you're done, you can choose one of the background music so you can have some nice background music in your podcast and hit record. And guess what? What's awesome about Anchor is that once you create your podcast, you can integrate it with iTunes. You can have it on Google Play. You can have it on Stitcher. It's pretty freaking awesome. And it's, did I mention that it's free? For real, though. <laughs> For real. So one of the things I said to you guys today is I really, really want you to think about when it comes to your visibility, do you, I know, not all your target audiences, but one, one particular group that you're trying to reach right now. That's number one. And number two, have you created a series for them, whether it be a really big, beefy blog series for them or even a podcast series for them where you're digging in and you're in a space where you're moving towards win, 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 win. Bernadette says, I love, I love Anchor too. It's like one of my favorite apps. Absolutely love, love, love Anchor. Yes, it's free, right? And they post to all the major platforms, right? Um, that was, is it Charlie? I don't want to pronounce it wrong. <laughs> Charlita? 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 I don't want to pronounce it wrong. Um, Latrice, would love for you to be a guest on my podcast. I'm there. 
I'm there. Email me, sistersense at gmail.com. You want me to be a guest? I am there. Listen, y'all, I want to do a live with one of you or a few of you. Hit hashtag live into the comment box. Y'all don't want to do it because you're like, I ain't cute right now. I don't want to get in front of the camera. But listen, y'all, you need to do what you need to do to get some visibility. You don't know who's watching me and who's going to watch you because you in my live streams. <laughs> Right? Hit hashtag live so I can see you. I'm not ha sure how to podcast. So reading my blog on it worked for me. Um, I'm not sure how to podcast. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm going to keep it. I do K-I-S-S, right? Kiss it. Keep it seriously simple. Download the Anchor app. Hit record. Record your session. Post. That's it. <laughs> keep it seriously, seriously simple. Latrice is going to go live with me, y'all. Okay, come on now. Come on now. Let's 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 make this happen. Okay. Um Wait, wait, wait. It says your viewers. I can't see you, Latrice. Oh man. Okay. How do I do that? Latrice wants to go live and I don't see you in the thingy, my jigger. Dug on it. Okay. What I need to do? My fingers is getting all up in there. Why don't I see everybody? I see, I only see a few people in that thing. How do I do Latrice? Okay, it says add Yondell. Yondell, did you say I could do? Oh, no, not now? Okay, <laughs> okay I see Yondell. Uh, Yondell's friends will be able to see this video too. It says I can add Yondell, but I can't see Latrice. Latrice, Latrice said later. Okay, fine. <laughs> Let me know when you want to come on later. I see Yondell. I know I can add you, but I'm not seeing uh, a few of you in there. I want to do like a dual live stream with y'all uh, and, and, and rock this out, Small Business Saturday. Okay, so we'll figure it out. And you guys, hashtag live if you want to do it later um, and check in with me. So let's talk about, let's continue this, okay? This conversation around creating series. Um, it's so important. I'm actually working on my next, I can try. I didn't say yes, but go ahead. That must be, <laughs> y'all don't say go ahead. That must be a sign. Okay, hold on, y'all. Let me, before I, before I do my conversation again, or uh, continue my conversation again on series. Works. I need some music, y'all, right? You know, I feel like, I'm on the Price is Right. I need to have some music. It says adding, but nothing's happened yet. Hello. Hello, hello my dear. Oh, my, oh my goodness. Hello. Happy Saturday. Happy Small Business Saturday. Oh, oh my. Oh, you look you look fabulous. 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 I didn't draw my eyebrows yet, but it's all, I think it's all. <laughs> All right, so, all right, so listen, before we before do, we do anything, anything else, introduce, introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. My name is Yandel Guilford, and um, I run, I'm the mom in charge of MommySlaves.com, which is a lifestyle blog for mompreneurs that I help mompreneurs on a budget. I provide them with the resources that they need to go from stressing to slaying. I love, I love it. it. Mom, it's mom, it's mom, it's it's it. Budget. So listen, I do, I do have the Facebook Black Moms Club, so make sure you get in there. Okay. 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 That's, number, That's one. number one. Number two, I have the bright colors brand, and I'm working, and I'm working on, on the Black Parents Publication. Okay. If you got, if an, you got article, an article for the mommy, for the mommy especially on entrepreneurship, let's talk. So you can get into the Black Parents Magazine. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I want that. I want to get into that. Because I okay, do. Okay. Um, I've written for Exo Nicole a couple of times, so I enjoy writing articles. Awesome, yes. awesome good. good. I want I some more articles for Black Parents, for parents and Bright Parenting, right parenting right Magazine. And, and I'm looking for ladies who are really, really experienced in that area. And with other moms, just the entrepreneurs. So let's make that happen. Thank you. Definitely. Definitely. So, okay. So, okay. Let's, talk Let's talk about your business. What, what are, are some things that you're right doing right now for exposure? Um, I've been doing YouTube videos because years ago, let me back up. I'm a teacher as well. 
right now I'm a part-time teacher though because I had my one-year-old a year ago and I was laid off and I stayed home with him. So I just started back. I'm only at work 10 hours a week and I have a four-year-old as well. So before Mommy's Blaze, for the past 10 years, I've made custom wigs and I'm letting that go so that I can focus on mommy slays like building my tribe so what i've done for visibility was trying to start up my youtube channel um and instagram i'm trying to focus on instagram i created the mommy slays it's mommy slays underscore on ig but um i haven't been getting a lot of traction with youtube like my videos on average probably are getting like 14 views so and then i do have the blog and i don't get a lot comments on that unless I join pods to go and comment on the blog and I'm kind of on the fence with pods yes they have their they're they're positive for getting traction and engagement but it's like that's not the engagement I want I want real engagement if that makes sense yeah I'm an organic, I'm an organic marketer. marketer. So even if you're getting small views on certain videos, more videos will help you with that. More videos will help you with that, right? So that's number one. So being this space based still okay, on average, you're getting 14 views, 20 videos. You know, you do videos, you know, at 20 views, that's a part of views, right? right? But also, I need to think about how proactive you are in your videos and say, Add to my video. Make sure you go here and get to dot dot dot. Make sure you go here and tell your friends, right? Let me know what you want to see in the next video. I don't know how many PA calls to actually doing in your videos, but for me, I work in small spaces. And they work for me because I'm always proactive about giving people calls to action. In the comment box, replay drop. It's a here, hear it out, right? Think about that. I don't know how proactive you are in making those calls to action in your video, but that's certainly something that's too Okay. Um, I can do, definitely do better with the call to action. Um, something that I'm working on, just being transparent. I want to do, I have like shiny syndrome. So it's like, I'm very creative and I want to do this, that, and the third, and I'll get, I don't focus in on one thing at one time. So something like my promotion for the past month or six weeks has been the level up your newsletter guide, like teaching mompreneurs how to get started on their newsletter to collect lists. So I've had that free guide and I've been promoting it consistently, but it's like people, I feel like they don't want that. They don't, they just, even though I know they need it, but they don't want it because they just not attract. They don't want to do their newsletter right now. If that makes sense, it does. It does. And so, and you, so need you need to be in a space where you're tried. You can continue, you can continue to share that, 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 but then switch gears a little bit and say, "Listen, right now I'm promoting the level of God, but I want to make sure that I'm giving you what you need." So you tell me what are, what are some things, things that, that as a mom who are just struggling with now, and start to also dig in there. Right? right? It, is, it is, you know, we're going to teach, especially when you try to teach and support, and support others, you want, you want to give them, them what you know, you know they need. Right? right? But you've got to make it a dialogue, not a monologue, and ask them what they think they need. Right, right. Yep, I just started serving them um, so that they could tell me more of what they need, and it was very eye-opening for me because it was right on target with what I know they need, but they opened up to a lot of other things that they need, like just not having support, de overcoming depression, and things like that. So, we're so I, just, I just think I wanted to talk more about, about it, and somebody, and somebody said, oh, that sounds a little poor. I think because you can hear, you can hear me, but then you can hear your audio from you. Okay. So it's a little so, bit double. So let's, so let's do that. I appreciate you down there for talking on. Remind, on. Them, Remind them what your brand is, is what your website is. Then email, email me to send at gmail.com to talk about, about the article of collaboration at the Black Mom Club. Okay, I will. So my name is Yandel, and I'm the head mom in charge of mommyslays.com, which is a lifestyle blog. You guys can follow me on Instagram at mommyslays underscore. So it's mommy slays underscore on Instagram, and I'm on Twitter, mommy slays, and I'm on Facebook as well under mommy slays. All right, all right, my dear. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ladies, if you guys want to go live, like down below, to take hashtag live and let me know. I think. Let's see how this works. I'm not sure how to transmit this here. And I did see. Oh, oh, so I think on your end, if you turn on your live. And then, and then I'll, 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 I'll be able to see what's going to be as well. See, it won't let me do anything on my end. Let me see. Oh, no, oh you, you know what? You might be able to do this, this, this come, come out of the live altogether, together, and, then, okay, and then, okay, then come back in. I'll come out and come back in then. Yeah. Bye, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Alrighty, y'all. So I'm having so much fun with you guys. Hopefully, I did see my girl Dawn said she wanted to come in, and then I then she disappeared. Um, so guys, feel free to check in with me and let me know. Uh, so appreciative of you, Yandel, for coming on here, being brave, uh, and jumping into the mix. Um, let me. I'm gonna do another one of those. Hopefully, in a couple of minutes. But let me dig back into some of the recommendations that I wanted to share with you here. Um, so let's talk about the idea of doing a series, whether you do a series on your blog or on a podcast or even a video series, that's something that you can do. I remembered back in the day when I started my YouTube channel, one of the things I did was I just sat down and I went through all of the questions, right? You know, we were just talking about Yandel, her group, you know, working with and supporting other mom entrepreneurs. What are the questions that they have? Start creating videos around those questions and just knocking it out. Beef up your content. And I do understand because I do work in a space where some of my videos get a thousand plus views, some get a hundred views, some get 10 views, right? I do understand that level of fluctuation, but what should not fluctuate is your consistency. What you've got to do is consistently create those videos so that you're building up your inventory. You never know who's watching. As a matter of fact, when I was a mommypreneur, my son just turned 12, but when he was one and two and wobbling in my videos, you know, people remember those videos of seeing me and seeing me in my space. So bring your family into the conversation. Make it something where, you know, you're like, this is my life as a mommypreneur. Because for me, having my son, my hubby's not one to get in front of the camera, but having my son there and even being able to hear my hubby from the distance, having those lifestyle videos as well really resonated because a lot of times people will come to me and say, you know, I am wanting to be like you. You know, I want to be in a space where um, I could be at home with my son, just like you. I actually left my job when I was pregnant and I, I began my entrepreneurial journey, you know, when my son was in my stomach and I've never looked back, right? So creating lifestyle videos, bringing people into your family and showing them who you are and what you do is certainly something that you can do. Look at Red Table Talks, right? With Jada Pinkett Smith, her mother, her daughter, her husband, Bringing the family in, that's a huge thing. So thinking about for yourself what series you can create, what platforms you're going to really dig into, whether it be the podcasting platform, your blogging, or your video, or all of the above. Now listen, some of you are my OMG girls. Drop into the comment box, OMG, if you're an OMG girl, right? Whether you're watching live or watching the replay. Overwhelmed, manic geniuses. And you're going to go, Lashonda, I want to do it all. I want to do the audio, and the video, and the articles, and da 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 let me tell you something. The first thing that I really, really like to dig into is articles because that's what Google wants. They want that textual content. So if you can't do it all at once, do some audio articles. Do some articles. I love audio because they're quick. You can literally hit, uh, hit record and talk. But don't tell me you're going to do audio and then three months later, you girl, I know I ain't start the podcast yet or I only got one. Who got one podcast up there? One podcast episode. I want to see no one episode. <laughs> 
I want to see one episode. I want to see 15. I want to see 20. Do the recordings. Launch it as a series so that we can dig in. We are in the binge watch era. People don't just want one. They want to eat them like chips, right? So be in a space where you create that amazing content and then you are able to put that content out there, right? So for example, um, when I created the big, beautiful Black Friday bundles, I was like, I want my ladies to be able to binge everything that I got right now. There are probably somewhere between six and ten different types of big, beautiful bundles on that page over at suzense.com forward slash BF. B for Black Friday bundles, right? Because I want you to binge. I want you to say, okay, I want the sales one. I want marketing made easy. I want the video thing. I want the mastermind thing. I want to binge. So I want you to really, if there's nothing else that you take from my web class today, I want you to remember these words, beef up your content. And yes, you want to do automation and trickle your content out over time. But for right now, especially for those of you going, I'm struggling with visibility and ain't a lot of people following me. I need you to get the tunnel vision on. I don't care if you just got two clicks and 10 views. I need you to get the tunnel vision on and start creating some really good, strong content because nobody's going to follow until you become the best representation of you. People want to always come on after you've come on. If you know what I mean, right? Because they want you, they want to be a part of the thing that's hot and buzzing, right? So you've got to be in a space where you do that for yourself and you dig into your tribe. One of the things I talked about with Yandel just a while ago is those call to actions. So me proactively saying to you, make sure that you, you know, turn on alerts or, you know, if you're enjoying this session, share it out with your following. Or if you haven't already done so, drop into the comment box who you are and share your web business being interaction, making it a dialogue and not a monologue. All important things that you should be doing in your videos, but of course, making sure that you're creating that kind of relationship and interaction with your audios on your different, um, your audience on your different platforms as well. So I don't know what time it is, number one. And number two, I don't know what my battery life is, but I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay for a little while longer. Um, so one of the things that I want you to think about when it comes to your plan and your progress is the series. Number two, lifestyle branding. Lifestyle branding is so big right now. How are you going to integrate your family and your life into your business? My business is a family business. So uh, a couple of weeks, no, was it last weekend? I, my, my weekends go by so fast. I was just recently in Atlanta, my hubby and my son, I took him out of school so that we could do the conference there and we can vend and share my Bright Colors brand. I'm going to show you something beautiful. This is one of Christopher's creations. That's my son. This is his culture box. And this started off as a history project that he had to do for school on Mount Kilimanjaro. And I said, you know what? I want us to do something that is lasting. I don't want to do just poster board and then all of a sudden it's crumpled. It's in the garbage. I want something that you can look and say, I did that. I did that. So we did a big version of this. It's on our coffee table. And then I said, you know what, kid? You know, because he loves to make these fuzzy stick men. He loves to work with clay. He, the fuzzy stick, this is like a little fuzzy stick tiger right there. Um, so I said, I want to take all of these things that my kid is just amazing at. He's always like, Mom, I need you to go and buy me some more pipe cleaners. And he makes all of these little men. We pulled it together and created this. So he has this as his series. And he sold several of these. He made his first sale at the We Buy Black convention. He sold a couple of these. We have pictures of it. I absolutely, uh, hey, Dawn, did you want to go live with me? If you do, make sure that you say hashtag live so I can see you. I don't think, I think you got to turn something on if you want to go live. I don't know how it works, but I want you, I want to see you. Um, and if there's one thing that you need to do as an entrepreneur, if you want to really build up your visibility and exposure, I want you to think about lifestyle branding and not just the content you create, but how you're integrating who you are, what you do, and your family into the conversation. A lot of people work with me because they go, man, I love your family. I've been watching you. I've been watching CEO grow up because his initials are CAO. I've been watching him grow up for a very long time. I just appreciate you. I want to do what you do and then some, right? So think about that. 
Um, I'm so proud of him. I'm going to show you guys a couple of his first client customers who purchased his products. He was able to gift one of these to Dr. Boynt Watkins at the We Buy Black convention, which is so amazing. He got to talk to him. He got photos with him. He's like, listen, youngin, this is what you need to do as an entrepreneur. Listen, you want to progress right? You better make sure that you're feeding this thing called entrepreneurship into your babies. You're building a legacy. You're creating something for yourself and you're teaching them how to do what they need to do to become entrepreneurs too. I do have on Sister Sense inside of my shop, uh, as part of my new brand, the Bright Colors brand, I do have a digital magazine. Uh, one of the issues is on kid entrepreneurs. So it talks about different entrepreneurial businesses that your kids can create. Plus, it highlights some amazing black young kidpreneur millennials that you need to know about. The 10-year-olds, the 13-year-olds, the 9-year-olds that are making figures, multiple figures. You need to motivate your kids to do that too. So think about that. Um, being in a space where your business is just not your business, but it's a family business, can you integrate your family into the conversation and make it a lifestyle blog so that not only are you creating DIY, do-it-yourself products and services, and then the DFY, the done-for-you products and services, but the BLY, the be like you, right? Be like you, where people are like, man, I want to be like you. <laughs> I want to do what you do. I want to talk to people on the phone. I want to build websites. I want to create information products. That's how you build a sustainable business. Get into a space where people, they follow your journey as an entrepreneur and they want more. They want more. One of the ways in which I am able to sustain as an entrepreneur is just being in a space where through my marketing moments, my videos, my audios, me with my family, um, people just enjoy that. And, and not just the information that I teach, the community and the relationships that I have. Sometimes I get on the call with clients and they go, I remember that video when Prin was a puppy and she got ants all over her face and you were like, oh my God, what are you doing? <laughs> You know, people just, they laugh and laugh. You know, one of my clients, Sister Salima, she was like, listen, I love when you want your video and your hubby comes and he's got food and you're like, I ain't trying to eat right now. I'm trying to do my video and be cute. Those lifestyle branding relationships, they go a long way. And I'm sure you see that other people that you follow, they do sessions where it's not just them. Maybe they do, um, you know, sessions with their hubby or they have their kids in the video. Think about how you can create a lifestyle brand. That is going to help help you too. Okay. So those are a couple of things that I wanted to, you know, dive into today with respect to some things that you should be thinking about as far as what you need to do now and what you need to do next. If you're just jumping in, make sure that you share who you are and what you're doing right now. And if you do have questions for me, feel free to email them to me, sense at gmail.com. Now I do have some more things that I want to talk to you guys about, uh, but I don't want this session to be uber long. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do another session a little bit later on today, maybe like a late night session with you guys uh, after a small business Saturday is said and done. Um, so I'm going to fingers crossed say that I'm going to promise to do another one of these because I do want to do a live stream with you all as well um, and have some more ladies come on into the mix. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe an after seven o'clock live stream. But before we get there, let me do this before we jump off from here. Uh, let me do a quick recap of what we talked about today. As part of Small Business Saturday, the big questions, what you should be doing now versus what you should be doing next. One of my statements that I said, if you rem remember nothing else from this, now is the time to beef up your content. That was a big thing. I said, you want to think about what you need to create, what you need to complete, and who you need to collaborate with before the year is over. Creation, completion, and collaboration, not just for the finishing this year strong, but stand, starting the next one even stronger. I also said, if those of you who are interested, I'm going to do my Fire Start Your Year virtual workshop in January. Check in with me if you want to be a part of that, number one. And then number two, number two, is that Vanessa? Vanessa, did you want to do the live stream with me? Oh, wait, no, that's Roxanne. Roxanne, I don't know if anybody else wanted to jump on and do a live with me before I jump off here. Um, I also wanted you to be in a space where you think about, you know, whether it be collaborating with myself or other people, how you can work that, make that happen. 
Do you have any series? I said, do you have a series? Um, so one of the young ladies said, listen, I have a podcast. I want to interview you. I said, make it happen. If you want me to be on your podcast, I'm there. Email sisterzents at gmail.com. Think about either creating a podcast. We talked about that today. Or creating some sort of series. We talked about creating a series today. Whether it be you creating articles for your particular target market. One in specifically uh, as a blog series, as a video series, as a podcast series. Make that happen. I shared a few other recommendations with you with respect to visibility. Working on creating a lifestyle brand and building your brand through consistent exposure. So there were a couple of tips and recommendations I dropped on you guys today. And of course, I want to make sure that in a big way, you can get all the Sense tools that you need to succeed when you go to sissasense.com forward slash BFB, which stands for Black Friday Bundles. You can go there and grab some of my beautiful bundles, the Marketing Made Easy Bundle, the Finish Strong Kit, your Closeout Kit, your Savvy Seller Toolkit. A lot of the things that are normally $100, $197, $297 are available today for $30, and those go away tomorrow. That's the ending. So you want to make sure that you can get some of those big, beautiful Boost Your Business Black Friday bundles. And of course, a lot of the web classes that I did this week absolutely free on Cyber Monday sales ideas and online business growth, marketing strategies, all of the web classes that I did this week, the replays are on that page as well. So I said to you, you want to beef up your content so that people can binge watch and binge all of your good good. You can find some of the good goods I've created for you at sisterssense.com forward slash BFB, as long with the replays and the $30 big beautiful bundle. So listen, y'all, get cute, because I'm definitely going to jump on here a couple of times um, this week. If I can do two times more today, yay. I'm definitely going to do another one later on today. Get cute, because I do want you guys to be able to jump in on my live and say who you are and what you're working on. I'm going to drop off from here for now. I'll put this replay on YouTube. And of course, in between everything else, if you have any questions for me, feel free to check in at sissasense at gmail.com. Send me your email. Send me your questions. I do have the collaboration writing project. So if you want to collaborate and learn more about that, check in as well. And again, remember, when you're on the Sister Sense website, you can always click that gray tab on the right to send me a voice message so we can, we can communicate and talk together. So Small Business Saturday. In addition to you thinking about what you need to do now versus next, think about something that you can do to support the entrepreneurs and the small business uh, uh, owners in your circle. Because, of course, support is how we as individuals are going to rise and take our other fellow entrepreneurial women and men with us. So keep rising, keep shining, keep creating amazing. And uh, hopefully I'll see some of you guys right back here real soon. So turn on the alerts. Don't forget that. Turn on the alerts. Share this one out to your friends and fam. And I'll see you guys for another live Small Business Saturday session on your progress, your profit, and your plans. Till then, take care.